England, who are smarting from losing the last three soccer aids in a row. This year, captained by a man who wants to take them in just one direction. Liam Payne makes his soccer aid debut, and his latest collaboration is with this lot. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? And in the blue corner, the World eleven with Usain Bolt, the fastest man in the world, returning to the scene of his 2012 Olympic triumph, leading the way. Strong just getting in the way. <laughs> Only in soccer would you see the phrase Mark Strong in the ways ahead. Cafu just dragging the ball just narrowly wide of the upright, no problems for David Jones in the England goal. 1-8. Here is Grenham chipping from uh, some distance. And straight down the throat of Persson for a chat with uh, Colin Lewin. Oh. Hit from Evra. Too far away. Not too far at all. When it comes to match day, it doesn't always go to plan. This is Shevchenko, the good bolt on the run again. That's a lovely ball. And he's going to get the better of Karagat. But he just didn't have the ability to get it under control. Might have a little change of formation here. Bold one. Bolt the target again. Just couldn't control the volley. Good ball in from Everett. Grenon. Noble's gone on one, Noah Beck trying to hold on to him, but Brennan is going for it, and Petacek has to bring out a big left hand to tip it over the top. It's the first shot in anger we've had. It's taken 14 minutes, no surprise that it's Tom Brennan. Look at this. Gets out his right peg, and that is a hit. He's enjoying himself. He's had more touches of the ball than anybody else in the... World 11 side, and he's picked out a beautiful That's ball. Wow, that was gorgeous. That is outrageous. I wouldn't marry that pass. Evra trying to charge into the box. Bolt is there! What a save that is from David James. That would have been a terrific goal. That gorgeous pass by Beck. Taken by that gorgeous man, Evra. Nice little dink into the centre, and I tell you what, he hits that. Looking for Strong, Shevchenko was in there, there as go. well. Here's Patrice Evra, he's been be. fouled, surely. It's got to be. And it's going to be a penalty. And I don't think Mark Lamberg had much choice. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it's a very tight decision, that, to be well, fair. Chunks isn't happy, and maybe rightly so. If VAR was here, they might see that as a... Slight attempt by Patrice Evra to win a penalty. Only if uh, VR was operated by one of Chunks' family members. Uh, it is a bit clumsy. you got, you got to be honest. It was unfortunate. No. <laughs> Noah Beck. Noah Beck has been given the ball. The wonder kid. Yeah, he's got 33 million followers on TikTok. He's got 9 million on Instagram, and this could be an Instagrammable moment. It's Noah Beck against David James. Beck slams it in. What a goal that is. The World Eleven took their time before taking the lead last year, but not tonight. And Noah Beck slams home the penalty. I tell you what, he's got 9 million and one followers now, Sam. Pass me my phone. That boy can play football. Chunks with a cheeky look. Wenger unmoved. He will say about the incident, I didn't see it. I don't think David James saw that. I tell you what, that is a penalty, by the way. Two David Jameses couldn't have saved that. Lee Max having flashbacks to last year. And you say Belt very straight in there, and he did get a little bit of chunks ankle there. Yeah, a little tip to Russell. Here's Bolt, speeding through, didn't have the touch to take it down. James is coming out to stop him. The Bolt's got away momentarily. Kem Setene arriving. England look a little bit misshapen. He's just lost his footing, but he still kept hold of the ball. Awaiting Cafu. Joe Cole. Brennan trying to scoop it back. Farrer is lurking at the far post. 
Well, he thinks he was brought down. The referee Mark Plattenberg says no. Even the Mobot wants technology. Let's have a look here. I don't know. Uh, a quick free kick taken by Mark Wright. Noble into Cole. Gilligan's got to be alert here. Joe Cole allowed to wander a long way. And it takes a little deflection and Pedacek had to be at his most alert. Joe Cole here takes on Compton and Gilligan. This is Mark Wright. It's a decent looking cross. Chunks bringing it down. Oh, now, surely that's yeah. a penalty. Oh, He's given dear. a penalty away to Noah Beck. And Noah Beck has brought him down to give one back. He's got to take it. Chunks has got to take it. Look at this touch by Chunks. And Noah Beck is absolutely bamboozled by him. YouTube versus TikTok, YouTube comes out on top. Emma Hayes and Harry Redknapp happy. Chunks is going to take responsibility. Here we go. Now, remember, Chunks missed the decisive penalty in 2020. Now, has, has Carragher pulled rank? He has. He's going to allow, I think, is it Mark Noble, Tom Brennan? What, what's the situation here? They're not 100% sure. And, is uh, that Mark Harry... Wright going over, trying to get someone else to take the penalty? No, Mark Wright has come over to Harry Redknapp, had a chat, and the decision has been made that it is going to be Mark Wright. OK. Trump's not entirely happy about that, but Mark Wright scored in a Man of the Match appearance in uh, 2016. I tell he you is what... a West Ham fan, he's buzzing to be playing at their home. I tell you what, if he misses this now... Chunks wanted it, but <laughs> and he's ripping up the crowd. It's Mark Wright against Petr Cech. It's Wright in the corner. Oh. One happy hammer. In the level just before the break. And it's Mark Wright from the spot. And it might have been the right call. Who knows, we'll never know. Mark Wright steps up, Petr Cech goes the right way, but doesn't get enough on it. Chunks was running in for that rebound. And he's not happy. He looks happy enough. It's all about winning for the team. Noble finding Wright. England's goal scorer. Asante. In a bit of space and encouraged to hit it, gives it to Chunks instead. He would be a popular goal scorer. Narrowly wide. Ooh. So close. Yet so far. I'd love to see Chunks put this in. And it would have been torturing motion if Chunks had taken that pen. Brennan. Oh, and he's yeah. outpacing Comston here. It's Grennan! Oh, that's terrific. And boy, does he deserve it! What a goal from Tom Brennan to give England the lead. Moments after half-time. That is a magic moment from Tom Brennan. We warned you. We warned you that first half was action-packed, and now you've got the celeb goalkeepers. I dare, I dare think what the score could be at the end of the second half, Sam. Brilliant ball, ball by Howard. Russ Howard. And then look at this burning of pace from Tom Brennan past Constant. He arrowed that home. And he switched from the World Eleven to England. He was the best celeb on the pitch last year, really. Ex-Luton Town player, could have played soccer in America before his music career took off. But I'll tell you what, tonight he's getting more than just a little bit of love. Oh my God, they get better. Lewis. This is Mark Wright getting forward, and then Russell Howard taking over. It comes back to Mark Wright. Ooh. And it kissed the outside of the post. Line of duty. 
you repeat that again for the tape. Kemp. Here's Kemp to equal the record. Pass David Hayward. And he has. Tonight. On Love Island. Equaling the record held by the great Clarence Seedolf. I bring you Kemp Saturday of Love Island fame. Mistake at the back by England, converted by Kemp, and it's England 2, World 11 2. Back pass by Mark Wright. Well, it was a back pass play back towards David Harewood, but of course, because of the injury, he couldn't get there quick enough. And as a result of that, Kem Setano gets his fourth Soccer A goal. Last year's player of the match, applauded by Arsene Wenger. Getting a lot of airplay right now, and actually, he's already played Wembley Stadium today. Here's Robbie Keane against Harewood. Oh! Off the post. Oh, my days! So very, very close to the World Eleven going in front. What a little dink by Robbie as well. Cole. And now sending Russell Howard away on the counter. Brennan trying to occupy Evra and Cafu. Now Joe Cole taking over. Fancies his chances. It's Joe Cole deflection. Oh! Oh, what a 30 seconds that was. End to end. Grimes. Now Keane. And it's Robbie Keane. Saved brilliantly by Harewood. Great save, that. But that when she watched it back on television. Noble. Howard to his right. Slipped in. It's Howard! It's a good save by the world's strongest man. The world's most agile man. Did you see that save? Unbelievable stuff. And lovely toilets as well here, can I just say? Oh, here's a chance. Grennan's in again. Stolman's come out. Grennan looks to finish it. It was a big moment. We all thought that was it. That was a timely intervention from Bartlett. Oh dear. Like it's going to be the World Eleven who kicked first. And Noah Beck, who has already taken a brilliant penalty, is going to be the first one to take his kick from 12 yards. It's Noah Beck against David Harewood, and there's only one winner. Same side, bit lower this time. Yeah, and it was difficult for David Harewood to move. And England really are hamstrung. Tom Brennan, who scored England's goal, is first up to face Tom Stoltman. How are your nerves? It's Grennan. It's over the bar. Oh. And it remains 1 0. Didn't see that coming. Now Grennan knows that that was a big opportunity missed. Any celebrity can take a penalty despite being substituted, and Martin Compson is back to take one and back to score one. 2 0 to the World 11. They've made the perfect start. There you go. Always shot the Scotsman. That's what I say. That's a lovely pen as well. Russell Howard steps up for England to try and get them on the score sheet. It's Russell Howard against Stoltman, it's, it's saved. saved! And what a save it was! Straight down the middle, and the world's strongest man bats it away. You could see Russell was gutted the second he hit it, he knew.
Ken Sesame to really put the screws on England. It's Ken. It's 3 0. Oh dear. And England are on the brink of losing yet another soccer aid. Mark Wright, who scored a penalty in the first half to keep England's faint hopes alive. Can he do it twice? It's Mark Wright. Just about. England cling to a little bit of hope. Surely Lee Mack. Please Lee Mack. Yes! Yes, please! It is time for Lee Mack, who oh has my missed God. three penalties in shootouts when playing for England. This is it. No one's going out now. It's Lee Mack for the win. It's Mack! It's in! I get to see it again! Lee Mack! Super Lee Mack wins Soccer A 2022 for the World 11. They have done it again. They might as well take the trophy home. It almost belongs to them now. It's Connect 4. It's Lee Mack from the spot. He couldn't score when he was in the England team. He can't stop scoring now. And look at this. Harewood goes the right way, but there's too much power on it. And that, my friends, is what you call a winner. Four straight wins. They are bossing this fixture. And he loves taking the headlines. Last year, he had the commentary of his goal as his ringtone for six months. How is he going to celebrate this time? Well, he's more than welcome to have it again, Lee. Take a bow. Tom Grennan disappointed after a terrific performance, a player of the match before winning performance. David Harewood, who had a problem with his hamstring in that second half and really and truly couldn't get anywhere near any of the penalties. Harry Redknapp, a disappointed loser in charge of England. But it's the World Eleven who at one stage didn't look like winning the game, Ian. The start, come back. start of the second half, momentum was very much in England's favour. But they dug deep, some very strong performances, particularly from Noah Beck. Patrice Ebra was outstanding and of course Lee Max always there, deadly. Yeah, it was terrific entertainment, terrific fun. And here is Dermot and Alex to wrap up.